Hi there, students. To boil down, or to boil down to. Okay, so let's see. Imagine you're cooking, you're cooking a sauce, and you want to make it th thicker. Then you boil it down, you boil it slowly, blah, 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 and the, a lot of the water goes and it gets thicker and stronger. You know these stock cubes that you can buy in the supermarket? Well, this is the essence of vegetable and meat that has been boiled down to this tiny little um, stock cube. So to boil down is to reduce the volume of some liquid you're cooking, to make it thicker and make it the flavour more intense. Okay, but we use this metaphorically. So we use to boil down to, to explain the major factor in a situation. So, for example, um, the lack of services around here boils down to a lack of money. So if there was more money, then they would be, there would be more services. But the essential basic problem in the end is lack of money. So what the problem amounts to is there isn't enough cash. So I know I could improve my English a lot, but I never have enough time to study. So my failure to improve my English radically boils down to not having enough time. Notice it's not an infinitive, this too, it's a preposition, so with an ing. So to boil down to, to mean, means to give a very short summary of something, giving only the basic and important facts, to simplify something to its bare essentials. Um, I know you want to sell your house, but the fact that you haven't sold it boils down to the fact that you are asking too much for it. It's too expensive, yeah? And if you reduce the price, then it would sell, okay? So I'm giving a short summary of the basic facts. Um, this product is not sold by our company because it's not profitable. So the reason our company doesn't sell this product boils down to it being to it being unprofitable. Yeah, so I'm explaining the situation in a nutshell, if you like. It's all a question of. So your house isn't selling, but it's all a question of it being too expensive. Yeah? Um, the company's had many problems, but these problems all boil down to a lack of leadership. So I'm not explaining all the small details. I'm condensing something to the bare essentials and explaining it. And this is what it boils down to means. Okay, you can boil something down, reduce the volume, and it boils down to is what you get when you've reduced the volume, if you like. Okay, so when something boils down to something, the main and important thing is what you're explaining, the thing that it has boiled down to. Okay, so, yes, uh, the problems all boil down to a lack of leadership. Um, not improving in English very often boils down to the amount of time you have available. 
yeah in life many things boil down to the amount of money you have available to spend okay to boil a regular verb so boil boiled boiled you boil something down boil it down or even just something boils down so it goes both directions and it boils down to it so boil down separable or intransitive boil down to inseparable it boils down to this it boils down to that okay so what about formality well I'd say this is neutral, maybe slightly informal. Um, I think this is a good phrasal verb to use in an informal conversation. I think you could use it when writing, but avoid using it in something very formal that you're writing. I think if you were writing something formal, it amounts to the main factor is... Uh, the bare essentials say that something like that okay so to boil down to a short summary of something giving the basic and important facts enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye for now boil down to yeah to boil's a regular verb Boil, boiled, boiled.